Welcome to Poland. With a rich tradition of independence and a history of fighting for freedom, let us go on an adventure to the mighty land of Polonia. I'll talk about its history, geography, and culture. The history of Poland is nothing but long and complex. It begins with the arrival of Slavic hunter-gatherers who settled in the territory. Much of them turned to agriculture as the land was rich and bountiful. In the 10th century, the first Polish ruler was documented. He was called Miesko, the first of the Piast dynasty. He converted to Christianity, which began the centuries-long history of Poland being a Catholic country. This brought the newly found kingdom closer to the other European kingdoms. By 1025, the earliest form of the Polish state was beginning to take shape. During the 13th century, a threat emerged in the form of the Teutonic Order. It went to war with many northern kingdoms in the Baltics. During the latter parts of the 14th century, Poland developed closer relations with its neighboring kingdom, Lithuania, courtesy of the Jagiellonian dynasty. By 1385, Lithuanians converted to Christianity due to Polish influence. And thus the Polish-Lithuanian Union was created, which would eventually become the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth in 1569. The Union even managed to drive out the Teutonic Order during the Battle of Tannenberg in 1410. The 1500s became a golden age for Poland. Mathematicians, astronomers, scientists, new ideas sprung forth from many Polish intellectuals. These included Nicolaus Copernicus, who formulated the heliocentric idea of the Sun being the center of the solar system instead of the Earth. Thus, modern astronomy was born in Poland. The Polish-Lithuanian Union issued religious tolerance while Europe was embroiled in constant war in the 16th century. This was also the time when the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth was born, after the Union of Lublin in 1596. It was also this time that King Zygmunt III Waza moved the capital to Warsaw. During the mid-1600s, the country fell into decline after constant invasions and battles with the Swedes, or what was known as the Swedish Deluge. In 1683, under threat of an Islamic invasion, Jan III Sobieski defeated the Muslim invaders in the Battle of Vienna, marking the end of Islamic incursions into Europe and the birth of the hero king of Poland. By the 18th century, Poland was in disarray. It needed changes to continue its existence. The last king of Poland, Stanislaus Augustus Poniatowski, introduced reforms left and right. On the 3rd of May, 1791, the first European constitution was signed. But it did not stop foreign interference from happening. Poland would be invaded many times by Russia, Prussia, and Austria. They partitioned the territory of Poland, and the Commonwealth ceased to exist in 1795. Poland would not exist as an independent state until 1918. However, these partitionings did not deter the Polish fight for freedom, as many uprisings occurred during this time period, including the November Uprising of 1830 to 1831 and January Uprising of 1863 to 1864. The Great War, as much as it was tragic, actually helped Poland gain its much-needed freedom. It was endorsed by the Allied powers in 1918, and the Treaty of Versailles ensured the existence of an independent Polish nation, which in 1919. Poland, as a state, was alive again after 123 years of foreign influence. During the Second World War, Poland was invaded by both the German and Soviet armies in 1939. It was divided again. However, the independent spirit of the Polish people never faltered, and they were able to create one of the biggest underground resistance movements during the war. After the defeat of Nazi Germany, Poland fell under Soviet influence, becoming a satellite state. 
After the fall of the Berlin Wall and the collapse of the Soviet Union, Poland, much like other Central European countries and former Soviet bloc countries, turned their eyes toward the West. Poland signed a new constitution in 1997, marking the birth of the Third Republic. In 1999, Poland joined NATO and the European Union in 2004. Poland has a GDP of $688 billion, which makes it one of the richer Central European nations. Service-related sectors make up a large part of the GDP with industry coming close and with agriculture last. Agricultural products include milk, sugar beets, wheat, maize, potatoes, tree de kalil, apples, rapeseed, barley, and rye. Industries are, but not limited to, machine building, iron and steel, coal mining, chemicals, shipbuilding, food processing, glass, beverages, and textiles. The flag of Poland has been historically a coat of arms found since as early as the 13th century. It is made up of two horizontal stripes, one white and one red. The real symbolism of the colors is not known, but the most acceptable explanations are that the white symbolizes purity, whilst the red symbolizes fire and blood. The capital of Poland is Warsaw, and with a land area of about 300,000 square kilometers, or 116,000 square miles. It makes it the second largest country in Central Europe. The highest point in Poland is the Peak of Rysy, which stands 2,500 meters, or 8,100 feet, high above sea level, and the lowest point is the Vistula Delta, which is two meters, or seven feet, below sea level. The annual average temperature of Poland ranges between five degrees Celsius, or 41 degrees Fahrenheit, to nearly nine degrees Celsius, or 48 degrees Fahrenheit. All in all, Poland has the full range of seasons, with each season having distinct weather patterns and variability. Due to the temperature and the climate, many furry mammals make their home in Polish territory. These include European bison, wild boars, brown bears, different species of wolves, and roe deer. Being a significant breeding ground for birds, one can observe numerous species of avians over the skies. These include, but are not limited to, the purple heron, the Eurasian reed warbler, the meadow pipit, and the greater spotted eagle. Poland has a population of about 39 million people, 96% of whom are ethnically Polish, making it one of the more homogenous nations in Europe. Polish is the most spoken language with around 98% of the population able to speak it. A vast majority of the population is Catholic, amounting to 84.6% of the population. However, several Christian denominations still exist. Other religions also exist, albeit at minimal representation. Now, let's dive into some delicious Polish dishes. First off, we have the national food of Poland, zurek, a creamy yet meaty soup that can be eaten in a bowl, or rye bread. Who can't recognize pierogi? These dumplings will fill you up any time of the day. Golabki is another simple dish you may want to try. It's basically just cabbage filled with meat, onions, and rice. Let's talk about sausages. Maybe you want to try Kazanska, for those into the more exotic foods. Think of it as blood sausage. A lot of influential people also come from Poland. Many are scientists, some are actors, and even religious figures call Poland their home. First off, we have John Paul II, former Pope of the Catholic Church, who is much beloved in his home country and all over the world. Marie Curie, born Maria Salomea Sklodowska, who was a pioneer in radioactivity, was also Polish. And what about the hero king of Poland, Jan III Sobieski, who forced the Islamic invaders out of Europe? And for the football enthusiasts out there, we also have Robert Lewandowski, 
world-renowned striker and captain of the Polish national football team. If you enjoyed this video on Poland, you'll love this next one.